Sagittarius, welcome to Searching and Fearless Tarot. How is everybody doing? I hope you're having a fabulous April. This is going to be a collective energy read for um, the rest of April for you. What energies are going to be surrounding you? What you're activating spiritually on your journey right now? Um, <clears throat> Maybe some recovery tips? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what comes up. Maybe some new love? Who knows? Let's get into prayer. Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you for another day now promised. Thank you for everything you do for us as a collective. We are nothing without it or you. Please only let those that walk in the light in. Only those with the highest messages in the mind, in their mind for the collective. <laughs> okay. What is being, <clears throat> what astrology is being activated for my Sagittarians. Ooh, okay. Showing up in your own reading. Damn, Saggy. Okay. So I get eighth house and Sagittarius. Eighth house talks about the mysteries of life. It talks about major changes. It talks about um, personal power. Moving into your own power. Moving into your own ideals. Moving into your true self. Sag. And not being afraid. I feel like some of you silenced your voice for a very long time in fear that you might have um, interrupted things or displeased people. Um, I'm getting like a like a, a rebirth for you guys. I'm, I'm feeling like you're coming out of your cocoons finally after a long period of hibernation. I also feel like some of you are worried about the perception. It's odd, but some of you used to really worry about how others perceived you or um, how others saw your inner fire. Um, I feel like in some cases you were very quiet, but you felt like you were aggressive or you felt this danger if you didn't go along with what was being said around you. Um, for those of you that resonate with that, I feel like those are deep, deep, deep childhood wounds that are being healed right now. And that's why you're coming out of your cocoon. That's why you're feeling more liberated. Because I think for a lot of you, you didn't realize that accepting yourself was the key to your own happiness. Accepting who you were, how different you were as an individual. It's like you always, this is mainly like... This feels like a lot of moon and rising energy. If you're a Sag moon or a Sag rising, you might resonate with that message a little bit more than a Sag sun. Um, but in this scenario, it just feels like you're breaking free from the system. You're breaking free from the matrix. You didn't realize that how unhappy you were by abiding by everybody else's rules. That is what truly made you unhappy. Okay, let's get into the cards. What is going on for Sagittarius for the month of April 2021? What is going on for the Sagittarius Collective? <clears throat> um, for some of you, you've been dealing with someone who has been portraying sneaky behavior. This is someone that you thought you could have gone the distance with or you could have had had business with, or you could have been in a relationship with. Um, this person had a lot of ego. Um, so a lot of the lens of what they were seeing through was their own ego or their own perspective. And it was very difficult for them to look at someone else's perspective. I feel like in April, you're gonna start seeing victories from this. Um, I feel like you've been very calm in this period. You've been taking things as they come. You've been waiting for things to unfold. This is karmic, okay? So someone, whoever was doing this sneaky behavior behind your back, you will feel victorious. And I think that you've known it all along. I think that you've known that you've been victorious all along. But the funny part about victory, especially with um, Sag, or what I'm feeling with you guys, is that victory isn't about making sure that the other person goes down in flames. Victory isn't about... Um, making sure you're more successful than the other individual. Victory is just your own peace of mind. 
And that's how it's always been for you, Sag. But I think that you've had a hard time seeing that because you've come across so much opposition when it comes to other people's opinions. Um, this shirt, it's, it's, it's funny because I'm feeling like this surety in your soul. And you've had this since you were a very, very young child, Sag. Um, there's this surety in your soul of like, you know who you are, you know who your concept, like you, you and also Sag, you guys have the energy that you're willing to go on the adventure to find who you are. And that is the biggest key to unlocking. Um, it's kind of funny because they call Sag the seers, but what spirit is showing me right now is like, you guys are also not realizing that you're the time travelers as well. Okay. When I say time travel is this is going to be an odd reading. I'm like going off into another world. I don't even need the cards. All right. Um, when I say that you're time traveling, I mean that you have felt aspects of your higher self or your future self, even since you were a child and whatever traumatic experiences you're going through, whatever you need to speak up on is, is coming out in this time. It's like, it's funny because what spirit is showing me is like, there's this surety of your soul that's always been there. Okay. I feel like I'm talking to an old soul Sag right now. If you're resonating with this, that you're an old soul, very old soul. You have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Maybe you've had previous past lives where you've been punished for that wisdom or knowledge. Um, and that's why you've been holding yourself back for so long. But I feel like situations are coming out to where you have to defend yourself. You have to defend what is right for you and what you see and you're gaining the courage and you're trusting you're trusting that piece of your soul you're showing up for yourself every single day and you're trusting the fact that you have always had this within you and now you're just vocalizing it and creatively expressing it to the world what else Sag? it's beautiful it's really beautiful it's like you're showing I'm getting the moon cards, so I feel like I'm I'm a Sag moon. I feel like I'm talking to a lot of Sag moons. Um, but this, it, it could be Sag sun as well. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Like, it, this is just the general energy around what's going on. What else for Sag? Okay. I feel like for a lot of you, Sag, is because of this sneaky behavior behind the scenes, um, in your own way, you're going through this, you're processing through the emotions. I feel like this is a betrayal for some of you. Like some of you, this goes as deep as a betrayal. Like this is, this, this was a re relationship you had for a very long time with a certain individual and you really trusted and believed that you were going to go the distance with this individual or you were... Um, you were going to plan or create new things. I feel like in the month of April, you're getting through this period, okay? With the High Priestess, it's like, yes, the anxiety is there. With the Nine of Swords reversed, okay, this could be anxiety turning into depression, okay, in the month of April. Um, so it's like, Sag, I feel like you know that you're going through the grief process, though. You understand that you're going through the grief process. And for those of you who do understand that, please don't belittle yourself. Please don't have compassion for your heart in this time, okay? This was a really, really difficult lesson that you did not want to learn. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Some of you, oh man, I don't want to say this. All right. Some of you, um, some of you were trapped in codependent, codependent dynamics in relationships. Like you could have, um, you could have been in a relationship where it was very old school. Um, it was very much like you felt like your actions and your motives were being controlled. That was the cycle of codependence that you needed to work through so that you could ascend into a higher for a higher perspective of relationships, okay? For some of you Sages, I feel like you've grown up in uh, divorce, divorced homes. You've um, seen relationship after relationship try and fail. It's like you're coming into a new perspective with love. Um, it's, it's a more lax perspective. There's a lot less control involved in this perspective. 
it's like you're go you're learning to go with the flow, okay? And you're able to also, um, I feel like, Sag, you're also able to pick up um, traces of manipulation from other people a lot faster than you used to be able to. Like, it's a lot harder to fool who you are. Okay, I'm seeing the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. What is, what's this? This Knight of Cups feels like someone else. They don't feel like you, Sag. Um, please clarify the Two of Swords. Please clarify the Two of Swords. Okay. For some of you, you're really having a difficult time moving forward with this indecision. Hmm. No, I take that back. I feel like this is someone else that's studying you. This is someone who could be a water sun, a water sun moon rising. Um, so that would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, this person, this person shows you nothing. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. Like uh, with the King of Wands reversed, it's like what they're showing you isn't what they truly feel okay what they're show they're it's like they're showing it's like they're backing away so that they can improve they're still in decision with this um this person could be like your sibling or a spouse with the ten of cups reversed ten of cups reversed really talks about differing family ideals or differing um maybe one person in the relationship is spiritual and the other isn't maybe one person goes to church and the other doesn't. Um, that's what I'm kind of feeling here is like there's there's a differences in the way that you want to move forward into the future. And, and this person, they don't feel like a bad individual. They just feel highly confused. <laughs> they feel like they're very confused. They feel like they, they want to move forward. They don't want to move forward. They're really in indecision whether they want to close out the cycle or not. And when I say close out the cycle, I mean like maybe create boundaries with you, more boundaries with you, maybe push you away more or bring you back in and figure out a way to find a middle ground between you two. Um, I do feel like this indecision is coming to a close with the death card. <clears throat> What's this indecision about? Person, this individual has a lot of inner struggle. They have a lot of inner struggle involving an apology that needs to be made for a new opportunity. And they've been thinking about this over and over and over again. There's a lot of inner rage going on. I feel like this person is very lost in a lot of ways. Um, this could be like a dark night of the soul that this individual is going through. Um, they're not listening to spirit with the temperance reversed. This could actually also be that they're having dreams about the situation. Some of them even nightmares about the scenario. Um, what's this, what? What is this person's true feelings for Sag? What is this person? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing pentacles and I'm seeing... I'm seeing wands, I'm seeing swords, I'm not seeing cups. The only cup I saw was the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Which, the Knight of Cups um, is somebody who wants to put in a love offer. So, yeah, this person is tired. This person is tired of feeling the anxiety of the wrongdoings that happened between you two. I think you know this. I think you know this and you're trapped by it. It's something that you have no control over. Um, this feels like past energy though. This was a lesson in surrender that you're coming that you're coming to. This was a lesson in surrender. This person, this individual is thinking of you and thinking about the secrets that ha were the secrets that happened within the relationship. And mind you, this doesn't have to be a romantic partner. This could be a sibling, something around that nature, but 
What will this person's <clears throat> what will this person's actions be in the month of April? What will this person's actions? I see Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They really want to make a move, but they're really indecisive whether they want to move forward or not. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing very much happen in the month of April with this certain individual. I think there's still a need to surrender um, to some of the shame and guilt feelings. I think there's a lot of forgiveness of oneself that this person needs to do, and they're still in reflection. Okay. This could be somebody who's like a Taurus Venus or something. They're very slow moving. But the good thing about this individual is that they're very, um, they're very, um, I'm, he I'm hearing the word pragmatic when it comes to um, their decisions. It's like, I can't even think about what pragmatic means right now. But basically, it feels like this individual is dreaming and thinking and wanting to send this message, but they still choose to be in isolation. And with the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, this person is on the brink of something. That's what I'm feeling. This person is on the brink of something. I don't necessarily see them moving forward in the month of April, but they're definitely thinking about it. You're definitely on their mind. I don't feel like there's anything you can do around the situation though, Sag. <clears throat> okay, underneath the Hermit reversed, I did get the Page of Cups and the Emperor. Weird. Okay, that's a weird message. All right, this person, if you have children with this individual, with the Page of Cups and the Emperor and the Hermit reversed, this could be something that's told through a child. Like a child could reveal that this person is thinking about you or like... Something about a child saying something that they don't know they're not supposed to, but they say it anyways. <clears throat> this child could also be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or they could be like a Cancer moon. Something of that sort. But with the Emperor, it's, um, I feel, I'm feeling whispers, whispers, whispers. So, so for those of you, or it could be a niece or a nephew, it doesn't have to really be a child you share with this individual, but, um... I feel like there's whispers going on um, behind the scenes. Um, I feel like there's a lot. Sag, I feel like you know this or you have a feeling about this, but you just want to get the hell away because of the secrets, because of the deception. So almost like this relationship, this might come back from the dead for you. Some of you could think that this relationship was long and over and this person is not was not thinking about you. If anything, they were spiteful towards you. All of those thoughts, I feel like there's going to be um, a chance for reconciliation for some of you. For others of you, it's just a message of closure. It's a message to... Um, I don't know, man, though. With the Emperor in positive position. Emperor is like the father of the deck. But then I'm seeing death in the middle of the deck as well. <sighs> All right. Okay. I see two of wands, ace of cups, and the lovers. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm feeling like for a majority of you, this individual feels stuck without you. I think that they were stuck, possibly could have been stuck in their pride and ego, possibly could be having issues or reaching a dark night of the soul. Um... I'm hearing the name Jason for some of you, whoever that resonates with. Um, I'm feeling like this person has really kept them car their cards to themselves because I'm seeing a person at a poker table like with a poker face, you know. Um, but I feel like this individual is charging up or getting ready to give you an offer for a new beginning. And with the Ace of Cups and Lovers here, this person is manifesting it. 
with the magician. What's going on with the star reverse though? I want to get clarification. I see the magician and the star reversed underneath the lovers. This could be something. Ooh, ace of swords and the moon, baby. Okay. This could be something that's, that, that they want clarity on. They want clarity on, they wanna move forward. Um, I feel like in this topic or in this discussion, there's going to be a thorough, a thorough storyline is what I'm hearing of what has happened in the past and how you can make things right in the now, okay? Some of you are in the energy of fuck this person, I don't wanna deal with this person, they betrayed me, all of this, okay? The reason why, you're not finding any peace or clarity in this moment if you are in that energy is because there is a need to forgive them and yourself for what happened within the relationship. And I know, please don't punch me when I say that. I know, I know, I know. But Sag, you guys are the seers. You guys are, you guys are the ones that understand things from a multi-dimensional level, okay? Motherfuckers playing chess at, or a checkers out here and you're playing fucking 5d chess okay so rein it in <laughs> rein it in and realize that nothing is going to come of resentments don't let resentments overtake you okay don't give them any room to be in your time of growth in your time of prosperity this is a pivotal time for you sag Spirit is asking you to, when it comes to this individual, to be in a receptive state, to be in a listening state, to be in a state where you're able to accept and feel, you're able to accept and feel the anxiety and the angst of what happened and the reason why their wounded child hurt you. There's a real closure you could possibly feel by being in a receptive state in this conversation, Sag. So just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, let's get guidance cards. <clears throat> All right, what's Sag activating in this time? Perseverance, I see in the middle of the deck. Courage. Abundance and balance. Both are in the um, opposite. It's funny because what Spirit is telling me is both of these will be doing a 180 in the month of April. Your abundance and the balance that you feel. The harmony that you feel within yourself. So just know that that conversation is coming. Don't put it into the forefront of your days. Move forward with your goals and your passions and what you know to be true. And Sag, I, I, you're going to do that anyways because you're Sag. <laughs> All right. What's the guidance? What's the guidance for Sag in this April 2021? Serendipity in the reverse. New life in the protection position. <clears throat> okay, let's do serendipity first. Okay. Perhaps you felt almost... Un almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one, yet it all fell apart. Consider this, sometimes synchronicity and serendipity come together to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. Don't get caught up in the drama or of disappointment. There really is a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows where you, what you need and is guiding you to where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. Okay. 
If that doesn't hit the rest of the reading, dang. Hey! Okay, 39. You must acknowledge your inexperience. Oh, shit. Don't punch me after this message, Sag. You must acknowledge your inexperience and gently allow yourself to be like the delicate new bud opening. It's okay to admit you may, may not... Blah. It's okay to admit you may not know something. You are at the beginning of things and haven't yet hit your stride. Be immersed in the newness of it all and don't try to rush the learning process. New life has its own timetable ta time for maturity. Be here now. Life loves you. All right, Saggy. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your April. I wish you nothing but good things and blessings and don't let the haters get in the way. Bye.